Hey guys, welcome back to Roshnara's World. So guys, today's video we will be discussing about off-campus recruitment drive from Accenture's end. So we will discuss about two profiles uh, for which the hirings are going on. One is for Associate Software Engineer profile which is ASE and the second one is System and Application Service Associates. So guys, both are, uh, you know, separate uh, profile so make sure that you apply in uh, as per your eligibility criteria both links are uh, different so let's discuss about the ASC role first which is job description so basically you can go through the job description completely uh, what all things are required I mean the basic uh, things will be uh, designing building testing assemble support configure applications using business requirements then understand the business drivers then you should uh, deliver software to those expectations then um, responsible for incident resolution and support extent to customers through voice interaction chat email or remote support as well so you'll be doing this so mainly the uh, i mean uh, skills which are required would be uh, like any language is preferred basically you can see here experience or uh, you know knowledge should be there of any uh, programming language like dotnet asp.net or uh, asp.net mvc so uh, also basic understanding of ab ap development or uh, hana or cds uh, amdp performance analysis and uh, you should have good uh, you know understanding of um, you know analytical thinking and knowledge of day two or uh, double or uh, and full stack development so this is overall profile you can just check out in details just go through in details what is the job role basically what you'll be doing then also uh, one point is that it is 24 7 uh, shift business requirement is i mean uh, as per business requirement you can uh, i mean 24 7 shifts are there and yes others you can go through in details and good communication and proficiency in verbal and written is required so this was the job role so this is the complete form uh, this is very basic but i will uh, i mean uh, tell you guys to first of all keep your documents handy and then apply for this particular uh, both the profiles because you can't make mistakes because later on you will be uh, in problem because uh, there is a lot of delay because you end up uh, making mistakes by filling up wrong details so make sure you apply clear with clear you know details and this is the details you can just see that bachelors of engineering and uh, i mean um, btech or bes are uh, you know eligible or uh, i have selected undergraduate postgraduates are also eligible i'll show you the eligibility criteria so the eligibility criteria is BTEC, BE, MTEC, ME, MCA, MSc in all streams and like I said 2020 and 2021 patch pass outs are eligible. No active backlog both during application and at the time of onboarding. So you should not have any backlog. Then maximum one year gap uh, which is uh, like post 10th matlab after 10th uh, till completion of your highest education is applicable. Then uh, in last three months if you have already appeared for any recruitment assessment or interview. I mean for example if you have applied for um, I mean you have attempted your interview and you got rejected or you didn't get any reward in last three months then after that only you can apply it. Um, in middle of this you won't be I mean they won't consider and uh, for uh, uh, it is also relevant uh, to assessments as well uh, you have given assessment and you are rejected or you didn't get any reward and three months have passed then only you can apply then candidates must be eligible to working job so these are basic very basic things so these these are the eligibility criteria and yes freshers can also apply uh, so okay and uh, this was the entire uh, form i will not go in much details because you can fill it up um, uh, i mean accordingly and this is very basic then second profile uh, like i said that it is for system and application service associate the form uh, and details remains the same the only thing is eligibility and job profile so this is the job profile so here it is a bit different now uh, you can go through in details i mean testing or auto, um, automation engineering and uh, you should know a bit of coding and etc then uh, project control services you can go through in details basically but yes eligibility is bsc bca bba uh, and BCOM is also eligible and yes pass outs are 20 and 2021 the rest of the things are uh, I mean almost same I mean one year cap is allowed no active backlog and uh, if you have applied in three months not eligible then ability to anticipate and resolve queries and uh, you know issues basically and uh, analytical and problem thinking skills and good 
uh, verbal and communication skills so these are very common things so th these are uh, i mean this is also eligibility and yes these are the roles and responsibility you can go through in details uh, i mean you have to identify within application and infrastructure dr uh, drive resolution of functional and infrastructure issues etc focus on automation self service etc so this is the overall eligibility criteria and yes you can apply uh, here in details i mean this is only for graduation uh, like here it is mentioned only for graduates undergraduates i mean and degree you can check like we already discussed in the eligibility criteria and um, then uh, year of passing is 21 and 20 uh, okay so uh, this and uh, no cgpas and percentages are being uh, mentioned here uh, but uh, yes you can apply uh, when uh, during the documentations uh, it will be i mean checked but uh, no such it, um, i mean uh, eligibility is there so yeah you can uh, apply um, uh, i would suggest so yeah in case you have doubt and query let me know in the comment section and yeah do share with your friends and apply as soon as possible because links gets expired so so though it's a bulk hiring but still uh, thank you so much guys have a great day